Welcome to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness and cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Kaysen Community Radio. NAMI is a national alliance on mental illness. We are the largest grassroots advocacy network for people with mental illness and their family members, with over 800 national affiliates and 15 Kansas affiliates, with NAMI Wichita being one of those 15. We provide awareness, support, education, and advocacy for people affected by mental illness. Our purpose here is to provide a community conversation on Case on Radio that gives insight into what it's like to live with a mental illness. Our intention and our hope is that our program will change attitudes, assumptions, and stereotypes about people with mental health conditions. My name is David Larson. I am very pleased and proud to be your host today, and I am a person living with mental illness. I am in recovery for major depressive disorder. Like everyone, I struggle with the ups and downs of emotions and the challenges of being fully human, but I am doing great, and I know I have many gifts to offer my family, my friends, and my community, and it is my pleasure to introduce our guest for today, Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, David. How are you doing today? I'm hanging in there. How are you? Doing great. I'd also like to mention that Joe is my nickname. My name is Columbine. And okay. so, yes, call me Joe on the show. All right. Just we'll do that. That's know. kind of a far stretch. How did we get from, what, what did you say your name was? Columbine. Columbine. Mm-hmm. To Joe. How did that happen? Selected it out of thin air. Really? Uh, sometimes, some places, it's easier for people. Oh, okay. That, that's great. You're right. Or it situations. is. It would be. Well, so Joe, where were you born? I was born in Pittsburgh, Kansas. All right. And let's see, Pittsburgh from here is southeast, right? Uh, A little south. south, Yes. Mainly east. But mainly east. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where did you grow up? Here in Wichita, Kansas with my sister on the west side of town and also in Midtown. At one point, I learned from a magazine article that our house in Midtown was a mansion. I didn't know or realize this and was quite awed. Our uh, family includes uh, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and friends, too. My dad and his family are from Texas and California, and my mom and her family are from Greece by way of uh, Michigan and Florida. Okay. Well, so do you know any Greek? Um. Very little and okay. probably not quite able to accurately pronounce. Okay. So I'll Fair save enough. everybody. <laughs> That's all right because I don't know very well at all. So <laughs> it's okay. So what school did you? Uh, what schools did you attend? I attended Kensler Elementary School. Uh, collegiate is a private school, and I graduated from Wichita North High School. Okay. Uh, in junior high and high school, I played uh, volleyball. And as a high school student, I visited Washington, D.C. and Wichita's sister city in Mexico. Okay. I didn't know that Wichita had a sister city in Mexico. Did you? Yes, I did. I you did. did. I don't and know what fact, it is. <laughs> and in fact, there's two Mexican sister cities to oh. Wichita. There's one in China and there's one in France. So there are four sister cities that Wichita is a sister of, two in Mexico, one in, one in France, and one in China. That is neat. So if you have any more questions on the next program, I'll answer those. Oh, right. I will definitely ask you those questions. So um, let's see here. What are some of your interests? Oh, I think from grade school, exposure to American Sign Language. Uh, Along the way, crocheting. A friend taught me to crochet and is frustrated that I'm quite happy with just granny squares. (laughs) And so I can keep going until they're blankets. Um... And I do those. I did those on on airplanes for trips and local city pu- buses when that was my transportation. And once I even did a granny square triangle. Scar- uh, really, scarf. scarf. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder. I, oh, I'm going to have to ask you sometime to show that to me because that sounds interesting. Actually, it was sold at a. Um, it was. Uh, an item in the donated to the NAMI Kansas silent auction. Okay. And one of our local Wichita uh, affiliate members uh, purchased it, so I'll refer you to her later. All right. Sounds great. All right. Well, so um, let's see. Uh, what kind of – so hobbies-wise, Granny Square Crochet. And um, do you have any pets? Uh, yes, I do. 
Um, I have, so in the past, I had a couple of kittens, a, um, a brother and sister, and they are very much still here and a part of me. Uh, currently, I would say I have a cat has me, or perhaps that we have each other. <laughs> she yeah. has a cat <laughs> that has her. Yes. <laughs> and I'm hoping uh, sometime sooner than later to find a credible way for cats to be therapy cats and a credible way to determine whether or not she'd be a candidate. All right. that, that's a good question. I want to examine that. <laughs> I, 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 does does a cat have the personality to be a a, a companion in that in that sense, like most, a, like a dog would be, or most or, definitely, you th- sir. You think they do? Oh, most definitely. Um, so, what little bit I've been introduced to are the dogs, the cats, and rabbits. Uh-huh. And then you hear throughout the world uh, we're gonna llamas have to, we're and alligators. We're going to have to talk and, a little bit about that because yeah. I know that they will not let me take my llama on the airplane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I know. So. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and KSUN Community Radio. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Our Own Voice is intended to humanize a misunderstood, highly stigmatized topic of mental illness by showing that it's possible and common to live with a mental health condition. Now, Joe, uh, during the break, we talked about what else to share. And um, let's ask you, um, when did you first encounter the work of the National Alliance on Mental Illness? Great question. Uh, In 2009. In 2009, I had a surge of energy uh, within a long-term deep depression. And uh, out of that had the ability and capability to look for help, hope, ideas uh, to improve my quality of life. I learned of and searched uh, what is now known uh, kansassupportgroups.com and from there I found Codependence Anonymous, NAMI Wichita, and Depression Bipolar Support Alliance Wichita. Whenever I was able to, I attended meetings and soon attended on scholarship a NAMI Kansas conference and was blown away with the awareness and amount of and variety of new knowledge, which I'd never heard in counseling. Uh, In the next couple of years, I uh, assertively sought from a different source a mental health diagnosis so I might be able to advocate uh, for better understanding, uh, knowledge uh, of the care and treatment and services and coordination I had access to receiving. Okay. Um, Don't know what else I was going to say there. (laughs) That's all right. Oh, that is... uh, that is an ongoing undertaking. Well, can can I approach the subject of your diagnosis? Uh, yes. Okay. What is your diagnosis? Um, um, I'd like to to also say thanks to being included in NAMI Wichita and similar organizations such as Breakthrough Club and Project Independence and others. Uh, I've been introduced to people who get it, who relate to the challenges, the struggles, the strife. The bureaucracy, strained relationships, both personally, educationally, and professionally, uh, as well as with providers and the public. Uh, They know in all realms uh, what it's like to to live with um, things that interfere with our ability to live life like... um, mainstream for lack of a better word Um, they also understand the successes the setbacks the joy the heartbreaks the bad and the good too i'm frustrated as well as the people in my life are frustrated with the roller coasters of inconsistency unpredictability and the never-ending illness um 
also of not understanding or misunderstanding, not relating, not able to relate, and the inability to connect and or communicate. Okay. So to answer your question, uh, what is my diagnosis yes. and, and mm -hmm. when? Um, I have had and still have several uh, depression, I think, was the big one that became apparent to everybody. With that, there's anxiety and probably some OCD in there. Um, I So when I got assertive about being diagnosed, I was diagnosed with depression. Uh, along the way with rapid cycling, uh, I'm sorry, with uh, bipolar. Okay. And along the way uh, with rapid cycling, and I anticipate uh, mixed states, uh, constant, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, mixed states. Okay. Can, can I, I'm not quite sure I can um, uh, explain to our listeners what, what rapid cycling is. That's quickly going from depression uh -huh. to mania and back and forth to the two okay. poles of bipolar, formerly known as manic depression. Okay. And All then right. the, um, um, the mixed states mm -hmm. is both slamming up at the same time. Oh, okay. Constantly. And so each one to varying degrees. Sometimes they're equal lots sometimes they're very and you know share the percentages but a mixed that's state. interesting so Thank i'm anticipating for that. that wow that is powerful so um well i i want to ask you another question but at the same time i want to actually uh give some thank yous and so i think that's what i'm going to do now um, I want to take a moment to offer a thank you to our production team, to David Peterson, who is our executive producer. Hello. Thank you, David. Thank you. And uh, thank you to Mike Padilla, our technical producer. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Padilla rhymes with tortilla. That's right. That's how I learned that. Don't, don't, don't you forget it, though. You betcha. <laughs> Well, so um, this is our own voice. We are talking with Joe. Um, and we uh, are going to take a quick break, and we will be right back. If you would like to learn more about the National Alliance on Mental Illness and how you can get involved in mental health advocacy, please visit our website at nami.org. This is Our Own Voice. Welcome back. We are a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Kaysen Community Radio. NAMI is a national alliance on mental illness. So, Joe, um, have you done any traveling anywhere? Uh, yes, I have throughout life. Uh, many more places than this, but some highlights might be uh, California, uh, Colorado, Michigan, um, Missouri, and on the back then on the way to and from Missouri, every it seemed like every so f few feet, but it was probably every so few miles, there were water slides, giant water slides. <laughs> and so in the car, my oh, sister. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> the great Missouri water uh, slide region that they, they developed a couple of years ago. I remember and that. In the car. As we were as my as we were driving down the road, my sister and I would change into swimsuits in the back seat, <laughs> and then go do the water slides. That uh, is traveled, awesome! Wow, traveled to what a great memory! Yeah, <laughs> Michigan, Florida, and then more recently in Canada, I did a free fall and a zip line to my amazement. That is awesome! <laughs> Oh, Anyone that cool. has a zip line needs to try it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Even this old man can. Really? It. Yes, I loved it. Hmm. Well, I, I recommend doing it uh, the way I've heard some others do it, where it was scenic and mm -hmm. atmospheric. Yeah. 
whereas uh, mine, I'm glad that I did the zip line. It was just from point A to point B with not much atmosphere. So definitely do it somewhere atmospheric, scenic, um, experiential. So the whole time, did you yell the whole time ah! like that or what? I don't believe I did on the zip line. <laughs> okay. uh, apparently, you're supposed to do the zip line first and then the free fall. Oh. And for whatever reason that day, they did it right for my friend who went behind me. But for me, they did it in reverse order and had me do the free fall, which is you is it like back. a it's like a bungee cord bungee line or whatever? It won't uh, let you hit the ground. No, <laughs> it, <laughs> I, I don't remember it being a bungee line. It was okay. a free fall in okay. that you had to step out on, um, I'd say less than half a brick, a, a <laughs> step that was less than half a brick in size. Oh wow! And of course, they've got you harnessed up or had me harnessed up. Right. How far a dr- and, drop was it? And helmet. Um, I don't quite remember. It was a long way. <laughs> I don't remember the feet. I don't know if two hundred feet would oh, be that... close to accurate. Uh, but you know, it was fun trying. Fun, ha! Huh? Uh, <laughs> trying to step out on this step. So. You barely, fe- I barely felt it underneath my feet. Wow. And so you're mm-hmm. kind of just floating in sky, and then they take the floor out from underneath yeah. you, and down you go. Wow. Wow. And that is amazing. <laughs> and, and so how long do, do you think that you, you fell for, like, two seconds, three seconds, or ten seconds, or whatever? I would imagine three it's, quarters of a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? But it felt like a lifetime, though, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> and I'm going to... And for that one, I would say, yes, I was screaming all the way down because my friend said so, who videotaped it, and subsequently technology lost it. (laughs) Okay. Well, really fast, because I don't want to uh, get this segment going without you saying this. Um, What have you done for NAMI? And in particular, I think you're going to mention something very important that's coming up. Yes. Uh, I began with just stepping in, curiosity, what is this, Uh, what will it be? So for me, myself, my illness um, helped for me. And then, of course, bit by bit, you know, trying to give back for all that NAMI Wichita and NAMI Kansas and NAMI gave to me, uh, bit by bit, whether or not I was truly ready for it, but hey, you you match you match situations. Right. Um, sometimes, if illness allows, uh, became a co mentor for Nami's Connection Recovery Support Group for the people living with the mental illness. Uh, later, I had taken Nami's peer to peer class a couple three times and I was like oh I still want to do this I guess maybe I need to go get trained to be a mentor co-mentor at the front of the room so that I'd have additional access to it so we're about to have a meeting on that to see what we're going to do for spring and summer and fall this year it sounds like it's been very beneficial to you then oh definitely definitely so you'd recommend it to to anyone out there who has some some issues you think anyone who's ready for it Ah. They need, they need, you know, the programs there. Um, there are times. So, like, why did I take it a couple times? I ended up missing some classes, so I I'd see. repeat it. So, it was beneficial to me. I got something out of it. I also got something out of it that it draw me, drew me back to take it again. Right. That drew me back, and then drew me back to well, selfishly to take it for me, be at the front of the room. But by being at the front of the room with a co-mentor. Um, than sharing it with others. Right, but the repetition was good for you then. It, it, even today, yeah, I, can, still you, you today. Still I still learn today. I still learn today. That's and, correct, so. and it has been, yeah. NAMI has reworked it, and now uh, for NAMI Peer to Peer, we're co leaders. Excellent. Yes, in fact, in fact, um, uh, you were one of my first uh, mentors. <laughs> so, all right. I need to note that this is our own voice on Case and Community Radio. We are talking with Joe, and we are going to take a quick break, break and be right back.
Welcome back to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Quezon Community Radio. NAMI is a national alliance on mental illness. Now, David, um, before the break, normally we have you give a special number. We didn't. And this time, you get to do I uh, give that special number, and um, I get to prod you for the correct way to say it. Okay. Well, let's, let's try it. Let's, I'll try it. He gets to say it three it. times now. <laughs> yeah. It's 316-686-1373. Or? It's 316-686-1373. That's but right. either way, call 316-686-1373 <laughs> to find out more about NAMI. Uh, that's our answering service. We'll get back with you as soon as we can. And if you have questions about what's going on in NAMI right now, we'll try to update you. I do have people in crisis call at times, and uh, we we don't have all the answers. If it's a major crisis, please, please call 911. But we are there to support, whether it's a family member or yourself. We are there to support. That's our mission. Yeah. And and you'll be sharing with them uh, if um, if the time allows to let them know about um, our our first meeting of the month, which is usually some kind of educational meeting. Mm-hmm. The first and, Tuesday. Yeah, the first Tuesday. The third Tuesday, we we have uh, an Ask the Doctor hour. Yes, we do. As well as. Um, uh, the support, support groups, groups for right. both the family and for the people who are peers. I'll see if I have time to mention those. But, yeah. Uh, but since you already did, that, <laughs> okay. we got it covered. But, okay. Uh, please call. We we feel like we can be a, a very supportive organization for both those with a mental illness and family members that have someone with a mental okay. illness. Okay. Well, Joe, I'm going to come back to you, and and I understand that you have a poem. Uh. Yes. Could you share Um, that poem with us? So this poem I wrote in grade school, and I believe, for me at least, that it speaks to human experiences throughout life, as well as it also speaks to me um, with uh, health challenges, including mental illness challenges. So the poem I wrote in fifth grade, once I was floating... I got tired. I saw an open window. I went in. I saw a desk, a bookshelf full of books and pictures. The door was open. I floated out. I found another room. I went in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I went into the sewing room. There are pins all over the place. I'd better get out of here. Oh, no. Pop. Bye. Interesting. Bravo. Yes. That was excellent. That is awesome. I like that a lot. Well, so really fast, because I want to make sure you get to the other thing that we're going to talk about. Um, who are your heroes and heroines? My heroes and heroines are everyone in my family and my friends. Uh, this is not an easy walk uh, with mental illness or any challenges in life especially if they're chronic. And the struggles and the strife, they are my heroes to to stick with me, to be okay. my family, to be my friends. And I love each and every one of them dearly and appreciate them. And awesome. they don't get to hear or feel or know that enough. Thank and you And they very deserve much. it. Well, now you mentioned walk. And so now I want you to come up with this. Go ahead and share with us about the NAMI. So NAMI has an annual walk, a traditional fundraiser like everybody else's. And NAMI Kansas also hosts a walk each year, uh, generally speaking in Topeka, and it's coming up soon. Uh, We'll come up again next year. Uh, Yes, it's the primary fundraising like everyone's walk. It's also about mental health awareness and mental health and disparity stigma busting. Okay. And some, you know, the disparity part is probably my word as opposed to NAMI's. How many times have you done this walk yourself? Is this the first time this this year? I have not done the walk. 
uh, personally. I have not traveled to Topeka for the walk personally. Well, you were saying something that, about a virtual walk. That is, is quite there? all right. Nobody has to go to Topeka and do the walk. Everybody can go to the Topeka and do the walk, the crawl, the roll, right. the cheerleading or the <laughs> volunteering, however NAMI Kansas needs. And anybody can't get out of being a walker because we can be a virtual walker. Okay. And still share the awareness, right. the stigma busting, and if you so choose, help NAMI and NAMI Kansas with NAMI's primary fundraiser. And that's what supports all our programs so that all our programs are at no cost to all participants. Excellent. And that Excellent. is a good point. That, that is a very that good point. Our programs are free. They are, they are no cost to participants, uh, whether they be family members, whether they be peers. Um, or the public or, or the public providers. Providers, yes. Um, we are all that way. Now, uh, unfortunately, I have to end this program. So thank you all for joining us for Our Own Voice on KSN Community Radio. Thank you to Joe for talking with us about mental illness. And join us for our next Our Own Voice program.